Aaron will be active tonight. Uh, he's we will not use him as a hitter yet. Um, so it's just defense, base running. If if an opportunity presents itself, just to kind of, you know help kind of finish off his rehab a little bit and if we can speed up the process a little bit we, we feel like you know with the roster expansion it makes some sense to have him available to <clears throat> if there's a spot where we can get him in to run the bases or <clears throat> or play some defense he's certainly ready to do that um he'll continue uh <clears throat> hitting this weekend um and he continues to do well so we're we're getting excited about where he's at <clears throat> Meredith. I know he was out on the field throwing in Minnesota a little bit. That wrist doesn't bother him at all when he's throwing the ball? No. Uh, no, he's, he's, he's doing great, and uh, he'll be hitting in group two today, and um, we'll continue to ramp up from a hitting standpoint this weekend. Uh, we've got a plan in place over the next few days that uh, – will activate as we get closer to and and uh you know he's getting real close to to being an option for us in your mind how long until he is an option um i don't want to speculate too much but we're we're probably a couple of days away from making a decision about exactly what we're going to do as far as trying to get him some some simulated at bats and whatnot and and as we get closer to that and as that becomes definitive we'll let you know Tyler, in the middle. Tyler, can you just hang on for the mic? Thanks. Can you just describe the impact, um, you know, you've he's had on this team, you know, without him here these last couple months, I guess? Um, you know, he's one of those special players, special people, um, just as far as obviously being a great player, but, but the makeup being, you know, off the charts and, and the impact he has with – everyone in that room even being a you know still a very young player um you know when when Aaron speaks people listen and he's 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 an outstanding competitor outstanding teammate and someone that you always want around impacting um other people and I just told him tonight I'm excited that he's gonna have to have a jersey on and spikes on and on the bench and hopefully he can impact us a little bit more even who else? Anyone else? Uh, Sweeney. Aaron, what more are you looking to see from him in BP? What is he, What else does he have to show you? Um, I, I, right now, I think it's just building up that stamina and building up the the amount of reps he's able to do. Um, because, I mean, if anyone's watched him take BP, it's it's pretty electric right now. It's coming off like Aaron Judge, and um, so really, it's it's about just you know he hasn't been. It's it's been a couple months almost, and and he hasn't swung the bat. So getting those repeated reps where he's able to build up the volume with which he's able to do it then we'll get him on a you know you know he'll probably see some stuff off of the velocity machine and start to really see some velocity and then we'll get some pitchers um to be able to throw to him and and then we go Okay, the journey back is on. Here you see Judge doing some work in the cage. On a recent edition of BPTV, we noted that statistically, the Yankees offense has done a good job weathering his absence, as there hasn't been much of a change in their average runs per game or their rate of home runs per nine innings between the games they played without Judge and their performance in the month plus just before he was lost to injury. But if he can get back to the point where he is hitting in the lineup again, his presence should be a difference maker.